Priscilla Murray received a call recently asking if she knew of a daddy-daughter dance in town. She didn't know of one, so she decided to change that. I was like, oh, well maybe I can do it. So I took it up on myself with the help of my friends just to see what we could do and it would turn out great. The gym at Patterson Park was filled with well-dressed men accompanied by girls of many different ages dressed to the nines. And several that we spoke to say events like this are not only fun, but very important. When you think about what better experience to share with your children is that daddy-daughter Valentine's Day dance. That's right. This is something that we are the first examples of a daughter's relationship with her father. So these are priceless moments for us. From cupcakes and cotton candy to dancing and twirling on the dance floor, this night turned out to be something really special. Groundbreaking if you ask me, because I mean, seeing all these children from different ethnic groups, different races, all come together and just have a good time and eat and dance and get high on candy and cupcakes you know, bounce off the wall, romp a room, you know. Even though the girls were having a great time, it seemed like some of the dads were having maybe even more fun, making sure to give credit to the mothers. I couldn't ask for a better day. I thank the mothers for oh, yeah. signing us up That's for right. this. Yeah, we, without we, we them, them, you know, know say without we them, <laughs> them, we won't be in that dog house at all, you know. We, <laughs> Ms. Murray says that while she is thrilled the event went so well, it goes much deeper than that. It makes me feel good, not the fact that I actually put on an event like that, but just to know that the bond between a father and daughter is so important. So it was just amazing to see so many people out, like you said, such a diverse group. So it was amazing, and I just like just to see people coming out and enjoy what Parks and Rec is doing. With the success of this event, there will definitely be another one next year. Make sure to check out MurfreesboroParks.com so you don't miss any of their wonderful programs for all ages. For City TV, Michael Lynn White.